Welcome back to Big Nick's Meats and Treats. Today I'm going to do a product review on the Gorilla Grills Silverback Pellet Grills. One of them's six years old and one of them's four years old. So let's get into it. Today I wanted to talk about the Gorilla Grills Silverback Pellet Grills. I have two of them and I'll talk more about that later why that is. I bought this one six years ago in the summer of 2016 and I bought it solely based on a lot of research that I did online and I did that based on build quality and reviews that I saw online because they're not available retaily. You have to buy them directly from Gorilla. And the ones that I saw in the stores, I just wasn't impressed with the build quality. So I bought this strictly based on specifications and the reviews I saw. This is what's considered an original. A Gorilla, I believe, has gone through four iterations since then. Uh, they have the Pro, the Alpha, and now they have the Wi-Fi version. Uh, so this is an original, one of the very first ones that the, they came out with. I'm, I use it realistically one to two days a week, and I have since the day I bought it, and it's still running flawlessly. Some of the things that Grill has really improved upon since the original came out is the internal components. For example, I'll show you this here. This is the heat deflector that was in the original, and you can see all the flaking and stuff on the carbon steel. They have since upgraded all the internals on the newer models with stainless steel. And in this particular one, I have replaced all the internals except for the heat deflector with stainless steel. Things I really like about it, heavy duty grate on the inside, one of the better ones in the industry. It doesn't sag at all even when you have a lot of meat on it. Uh, it's double wall insulated. I've used this thing in single digit temperatures and you don't have to put a blankie on her to keep her warm. It runs really, really good. All right, some of the things that I've had go wrong with it and there haven't been very many. Uh, originally when they came out with the first covers for them, they were way too tight and the cover I had with it busted the uh, smokestack uh, thingamajigger here. So they actually sent me a brand new smokestack for it. No questions asked. I've replaced that. Um, other than that and just replacing the carbon steel components with the stainless steel components, I've had no trouble with this. And one thing I'll have to give a shout out to Gorilla for outstanding customer service. When I first bought this, I think I actually got it on a Saturday and I started putting it together on a Sunday. And I had a question about one of the installation things or something. I can't even remember what it was. And I emailed the customer service email that they had. And I literally got a response in five minutes on a Sunday uh, answering my question. And I was, I was blown away by that. And they've just had really, really good customer service. And that's one reason I've continued to buy additional Gorilla products because they stand by their products. And that's really, really good. So one thing I wanted to show you is how good these things hold up. If you take a look inside the uh, smoker here, like I said, this is six years old. I do keep it out of the weather, although the first four years I had it, it was outdoors with a cover on it. Now it's completely covered all the time. But the inside is still really, really good. No rust, no deterioration whatsoever. And this thing is rocking as good today as it was the day I bought it. All right, this is Silverback number two. I bought this one four years ago, and this is a Silverback Pro. The difference between the original and the Pro was stainless steel handles on the bottom. The lid has baffles, and I can't remember if that was for strength or to help keep smoke inside. I can't remember. Um, and it also has a pellet dump which I rarely use because uh, I burn through the pellets so fast. I don't, I don't dump the pellets. Uh, one of the other things that they changed on the Pro is they made it to where you could put your upper rack either in the front or the back, or you could add a second rack. So it basically doubled the size of the upper rack if you did that. On the original, you had to buy a, a special attachment thing to add a second rack. The only things that I've really upgraded on these is I've bought stainless steel shelves for both of them. This is not standard. Well worth the money. I use these all the time. And then the uh, drip shelf things uh, to keep grease from running down the front. So this one too, I've been using one or two days a week since I bought it. Been running flawlessly. I've upgraded this one, uh, if you look down there, uh, with the Wi-Fi controller. So this just uh, goes to my phone. I've had that in there now uh, maybe just shy of a year. 
when it works it works really really good it tends to disconnect pretty frequently it'll reconnect pretty easily um, but I'm not sure if that's a function of how I have the Wi-Fi set up in the house or not because my router is only about 20 feet away but when it works it works really really good and there all the new ones now have the out uh, the Wi-Fi controller Overall, I've been really, really happy with both these grills. I bought two of them, mainly because I couldn't cook enough food for large groups in one smoker. And years ago, I did a big birthday party for my wife's brother's 50th birthday party, and I just couldn't cook enough food on one. So I convinced her that getting two was a better idea, because two is one and one is none. So I, I bought a second one. Things that uh, I... I, I struggle with is keeping the the powder coating or the paint that they use clean I've tried a gazillion different products and I've had a hard time keeping that clean it doesn't chip or anything it holds up to the weather well but it's it's difficult to keep clean and the only other thing uh, that I've struggled with is I wish the the base of the units were a little bit bigger because we get high winds where I live here and I've had these things tip over on me uh, fully loaded with pellets and everything in the wind a couple of times and so I wish the the footprint on the bottom was just a little bit wider uh, to keep them from being so top heavy and uh, overall super happy with the the Grilla Grill Silverback and I'm hoping one day they're going to come out with a grill that's like a thousand square inches that would be awesome so anyway until I see you next time watch me work baby watch me work <laughs> <laughs>